What's up everybody, it's Man of Low Moral Fiber here. My name's Luke, and in this video we're going to be doing some more farming here on my Farming Zero. Looks like I haven't yet applied the community patch, but I'm about to once we get down here into the winged storm, because we are going to be farming the Ancient Dragons of Destruction today. I want to look for a better blockade shield. I think I have a blockade on my person, but I don't think it's one of the higher capacity blockades by any stretch of the imagination, so... Gonna pop down here real quick, apply the community patch, and then we'll get started. I just ran over here from farming Pete, which we did in the last video. We got quite a few Seraph Crystals from Pete, so I don't know how many Seraph Crystals we really need from the dragons, but I do want to farm a blockade, so we'll see how quickly we can farm one of those. I guess for the first kill, I'm just going to go ahead and not stack Critical Ascension and see if we can live through it. Sometimes that's a little bit of a, you know, dice game there. Basically, you need to have the dragons give you good behavior. Otherwise, they can kill you pretty easily. But it's definitely possible to kill them without pre-stacking. So we'll do that on the first run, see how it goes. If we need to, we can definitely do some pre-stacking. Being that I have a perfect bee shield, a perfect bone of the ancients, and a perfect rifle... We should be able to eat through them pretty quickly. I do not have a perfect chaotic evil, I do not believe, but I could be wrong about that. I just don't know exactly how much fire rate and critical hit damage it can provide. I don't think mine's the best, though. Let's go ahead and bring these dudes in. Um, the first one I'm going to bring down is going to be uh, the blue one called Helianth. Go ahead and activate the ammo relic there too, just so that I can uh, maybe recuperate some of the ammo as we start here on uh, Helianth. Huh, so that's usually not the position he takes, but not a huge deal. Be able to get my health up with this rifle, that's why I thought we'd be able to do it without pre-stacking. So we got rid of that one. Now I want to find the green one called Brood. Go ahead and reload here. Finish off Brood if we can. Perfect. Now I want to get boost down. We still have one second Wind Dragon, which is nice. I'm a little bit low on ammo, but I think I can kill this dragon. Now I am going to need a second wind. Now, there are still a couple second wind dragons here, and I want to kill them with the Malawan if I can. Perfect. Because that will make it so that I get full health when uh, I get my second wind there. So we got quite a bit of critical ascension. What I do not have a lot of is ammunition. So I'm going to come over here, and then we're going to get this ammunition, and we're going to finish off um, Incinerator with the rifle that uh, is non-elemental. So, could do a little bit more damage if we were using shock and a uh, shock bone, but don't have one of those on my person because we needed it to, uh, you know, bring him down so that he could actually be slagged. You can only hold so many rifles. All right. He should be going back into the air momentarily, would be my guess. But if he's not, I'll kill him. So there's one kill there on the dragons. It wasn't that bad, you know. It's good stuff. I think that they definitely dropped Seraph Crystals as well, so we'll be collecting those too. Excellent. Go ahead and look through some of this other stuff here. Got a Seraph Crystal. That's good. 311, it says. All right. So one cool thing about killing the dragons is that they're always going to drop a... Ooh, Citrine Muckamuck, Jacob's Grip. Very nice. They're always going to drop a gemstone weapon, which is pretty cool. Ooh, Hyperion Stock, Doll Scope. I wonder what accessory it has. I don't really recognize it. It's probably these little things here, maybe? I don't know exactly. 
Huh. That's badass. So good stuff there. Um, digging that quite a bit. That wasn't something that I was expecting, but like I said, you can get gemstone weapons from the dragon, so that's pretty cool. I like that a lot. Then over here, it looks like we're going to get a plump seeker, so that's pretty cool as well. I guess we need to sell some of the crap that I've been picking up. Go ahead and pick up these extra seraph crystals that are around. Take a look at maybe a couple other items that dropped. Is this a Ravager? No, it's a Hulk. So a Hulk is the three-barreled one. I would be interested in a perfect rock Ravager, but not what that one is. This is a range killer. Be interested in an uber killer or whatever as well. Diamond Transmurderer. Interesting. All right. So, I don't want to open any of these guys um, because when we come back in here, they would all be level 1, which is a weird glitch. I was told by you guys that the big extra monsters only spawn when you're doing the quest, and that kind of makes sense. Oop, I'm pressing the wrong button here. I've got quite a bit of iridium at the moment. I'm going to go ahead and spend a bunch of it. We could potentially get a better class mod. Um... That would be really, really nice. These chests can definitely drop the rogue class mods, I think. So, we'll try to get them all. Opened up, see if we find a nice rogue class mod. Then we'll kill the dragons again. This time, do I want to pre-stack or do I want to go at them normally? Hmm, I don't know. It wasn't that bad to go at them this first time, even though Helianth didn't land right away. Perhaps it would be a little bit better if Helianth landed perfectly for us. But it ended up working out really well because we got that sweet muckamuck. Some people ask how I got my backpack to 100 or how I got my iridium cap over 500. That is due to the multi-hex edit tool. And I definitely think, you know, <laughs> at overpower levels and stuff like that, they should let you carry more than 500 iridium. So, and more than 39 items in the backpack, so that's why I do it that way. Makes a lot more sense to me. Alright, so no class mod there. Make sure that we don't accidentally kill ourselves here. Perfect. Just check these out to see. I guess what I'd really be looking for is a blue class mod with, you know, really, really high passive stats. Uh, plus six boost to fearless and I don't know what the other skill that it boost is probably two fang instead of velocity would be well velocity is nice for terramorphous so maybe I'd want it with velocity plus six fearless plus five velocity that would really be ideal I'll check a couple of these out as well just to see I was pretty confident that the class mods could drop from these chests, but now I'm beginning to get a little bit less confident. So this is an infiltrator and a one-shot sniper, so neither of those were DLC exclusive class mods. That one's actually kind of a good one there, um, as far as an OP8 plus 6 to one-shot one kill. Um, the legendary sniper comm only does plus 5, so that's kind of interesting. So I already had one, and the one I had was just a little bit better. Huh. Alright. Interesting. That's a bummer, though, if these chests really can't drop those class mods. That was something that I was kind of looking for, but I'm not going to shy away from a Citrine Muckamuck with a Jacob's Grip. That's pretty damn cool. All right, a couple purple pistols, don't care. More purple pistols, also don't care. I wish that these chests could drop gemstone weapons. So Survivor and Infiltrator, those are not DLC rogue comms. I really thought that rogue comms could drop here. It's kind of disappointing to me that they can't. Perhaps they can actually drop from the dragon loot pile out there, and I need to pay a little bit more attention. I'm going to open the rest of these chests anyway, though, just because I'm interested to see what they're going to drop. Did 
Dang, it takes a lot of iridium to open them all up. And then there's still like eight or so more down there. Let's see what these ones are, then we'll jump down for the last few. Cool doll rifle there. Ooh, we got a bitch. So their legendary drop rate seems okay. It's a bandit grip on that bitch, I think. I kind of like this weapon because I have a weapon that kind of looks like it in real life. Where did the bitch go? Here it is. So this is the legendary Hyperion SMG, and I think it was kind of based off of the P90, which is a weapon that you can use in CSGO, and I'm sure a you know myriad of other games as well. And I think that the Hyperion SMGs were kind of based on that gun, which is cool. All right. So, looking for some more stuff here. Not really finding that much. Maybe we won't do any more Iridium chest because I didn't see a single Roguecom drop. But I'm still going to do this last set here, just so that we have them all done at least once. Purple launcher, a bunch of greens, a couple blue grenades, don't care, a bunch of blues. No class mods though. And finally we finish it off with a purple Malawan SMG and a purple Malawan E-Tech SMG. So that's kind of cool. Alright. Let's head back to the beginning of the map here. We'll go back to the previous map for just a moment, then come back into this map so that we can fight the dragons again. I do believe that's going to cost us some more iridium. Luckily the dragons drop a ton of iridium every time you kill them. Now what we do have to watch out for is running out of Iridium if we open all of those dice chests every single time, but I'm pretty much done opening those because they didn't really give me anything that was worth it. So with that in mind, we will, um, you know, just kind of stock up Iridium. We'll definitely be running a net positive as far as our Iridium transactions go here. I think it's funny that Tiny Tina laughs at you as you're going out of there. I don't necessarily know why. Maybe she thinks it's because you lost. But, like, even if you win, you have to get out of there eventually anyway, so I'm not so sure. Alright, so hopefully we can kill the Ancient Dragons of Destruction again without too much trouble. Um, I don't know. The last time it wasn't that bad. Having this Malawan rifle here, the dear friend, is something that makes it significantly easier to stay alive, at least. Because otherwise, if you were switching to a, you know, moxie weapon, you could stay alive, certainly, but you would lose all of your uh, critical ascension stacks, which <laughs> is going to make you a lot, a lot less potent out on the battlefield there, and you're going to kill them a lot slower which is going to make it a lot more dangerous for you. So hopefully we can keep our critical ascension up and kill them pretty easily. Ooh, there might be some snipers on the ground. Huh. I guess I forgot that the gear would still be here. Should have saved the muck muck for this. Oh well. Surely there's at least one sniper. I just want to know where it is so that I can pick it up if I'm in trouble. I guess there's not, I just see a bunch of grenades and stuff. So that's a professional class mod there, another non-DLC exclusive class mod. So maybe this room just does not drop the DLC rogue comm. That would really kind of suck. All right, there's really no, ooh, another one-shot sniper comm. There is really no sniper on the floor here. That is tremendously dis disappointing. <laughs> oh well. I'm not going to hit the ammo shrine this time. I don't think it's a huge deal. So we'll try to avoid that damage there. Try to hit this guy with some kunai. Stand the proper distance away. Oh god, I should have reloaded that weapon. Stand the proper distance away for the B abuse, and then we'll get the green one down. I'll actually reload it this time, see if it helps at all. 
Uh oh, gonna go in to fight for our life here. Maybe. Alright. I switched to the wrong rifle there like an idiot. Alright, where's one of these guys? Go ahead and get a second wind. Perfect. I'm gonna run right past this guy and get that ammo shrine here in just a second. Perfect. Alright, so I don't want to get bumped off by a jumping dragon. That's happened to me before. It's always really depressing. Reload the fire rifle here. Alright, just one more dragon to kill. Try to get as many critical hits as I can there just to kind of sustain myself. I want to kill at least one of these. Alright, so we got plenty of ammo here. We do have 68 stacks of critical ascension, which is pretty big. Got a killer boost there, which can only help, but it does take away our second wind opportunity. Didn't need it, though, did we? Alright, so we'll gather the stuff again. Perfect. Got plenty of iridium, probably picking up some seraph crystals as well go out and pick up those too. Excellent. 320 Seraph Crystals now. What is this here? There's a blockade. That's what we were looking for. We'll pick it up. Pick up some of this other stuff as well. We'll kill them another time without pre-stacking and then we'll do a couple pre-stacking kills. Just to kind of break up the monotony of it all. take a look at which gemstones we got this time these are some of the most valuable items we're going to get from this um, you know farming run here I would imagine other than the blockade so there's that still Hulk there again we got a Garnet Rocketeer here not super great bummer alright some of this stuff will go away when we go back between the rooms some of the lower rarities I would imagine Go ahead and just run over the rest of this gear in case any of it is special. I don't think that it is. Okay. So here's that other one that we got. It's a citrine revolver, but it's bandit grip. I might have picked it up if it was Jacob's barrel, Jacob's grip, but it wasn't. So we'll ignore it. Hmm. This is me kind of doing the Terramorphous thing that I was doing before, just going back and forth between the rooms. Instead of save quitting, just because I've heard that that can possibly increase the drop rate on the raid boss. Which, you know, that'd be a pretty cool thing. All of these chests reset, but they're not going to trick me. They were garbage last time. Other than that one legendary Hyperion SMG. But, still... I'm going to have to find a mod that makes the uh, Hyperion SMG there all black. Kind of like a PS90 or a P90. Obviously, I have the civilian version, the PS90, but yeah, it's a cool gun. It's fun to shoot. Um, but it does remind me of the Hyperion SMGs, the way that they load in ammo from the top and stuff. It's pretty cool. All right, almost back to the layer of infinite agony here. Hopefully there's no one on the other side that's going to rough us up. We'll come back over here and begin again. I guess potentially I might even have a little bit of critical ascension as we start the next run because I'm already max on sniper ammo. And we still have 40 stacks, so there's no real reason to go into a vending machine. But I can't imagine by the time we get all the way back down to the dragons, actually hit the summoning thing, have them actually spawn that we're going to have any critical ascension by then. It just doesn't seem likely. It does tick down slower with the community patch, but it'll still go away before we can use it here. There were some little skelly men who were trying to kill me. That's irritating. All right, on to the wing storm. Yeah, I think that they'll all be gone by the time Helianth actually lands on the ground, but it's not a huge deal. I would really love to have a better chaotic evil rogue calm though, that would make it so much better. I would also eventually like to find a perfect shock bone of the ancients, but that is a tough farm as well.
I say we're not going to have any. It's still sitting at 18. So maybe it'll drop down to like five or so before we get started. I don't know if five is better than nothing. Are there any snipers on the ground? How come there are never snipers on the ground? That's ridiculous. I actually hit a critical hit on Heliant there, so it'll preserve it for just a little bit here, which is good. Get him slagged. Yeah, I guess it helped out. Hopefully that lingering damage makes uh, Brute land again. Um, obviously, he's not going to be able to be slagged because he's got DOT, but he doesn't have a ton of health anyway. So we'll build up some crit stacks. Uh-oh. Gonna need a second wind. Excellent. Oh, it did actually get slagged, but not until it landed, so that's good stuff. Um, I'm in a really bad way, so what I'm going to do is run over here, try to grab this ammo. Reload my gun here. And finish that off. Okay. Perfect. But I mean, you know, like, not exactly perfect. <laughs> Okay, hopefully this little one will land here in just a moment while we still have B. We didn't have B for very long. I'm going to need to kill those little ones. They're messing me up. Alright. So, not the best run this time, but that's a little bit weird because, you know, Helian died so quickly, but after that, I guess we had more trouble because... Um, you know, Brood had bad behavior. And that's just something that does happen with the dragons sometimes. They have terrible behavior. Alright, so he's slagged. Um, unfortunately, our B shield is compromised, but no worries. Looks like we need a couple more shots on him. There we go. Go ahead and collect some stuff. I can't believe it's not giving me more grenades and uh, sniper ammo. That's weird. Alright. Cubic Zirconia there. An Emerald. Let's see if we got another blockade. The blockade's always going to be over here in this area. A Seeker. I think that was already there. There should be another one somewhere. Should get one Seraph item per kill, I think. Is that a sniper? Ooh, it is. Well, well, not bad. Alright, let's do it again, but this time I'm going to kill myself to traverse to the front of the map a little bit quicker. That way we'll have a little bit more critical ascension. Just to see if we can make the kills go a little bit quicker, kind of chain them together a little bit more. This way we'll uh, carry a little bit more critical ascension with us. Should probably make sure all my guns are still re reloaded. But see, instead of having, you know, 40 stacks of critical ascension here, we have like 86. So that's good stuff. Damn, those little skelly men are super vicious. <laughs> all right. So we'll run down here to the wing storm again hopefully kill the dragons again this time it should be a little bit easier because we have critical ascension um, at a little bit higher number it should eliminate the dragons faster is my hope of course you know you could always get bad behavior and helium doesn't land and then we're just 
up a creek, you know. Um, if the dragons behave badly enough, you can definitely die. There's no shame in it either if the game just completely glitches. Um, it's always a shame when the dragons break down because they're a really cool raid boss otherwise. It just really sucks when the AI kind of fails you, especially with that slag lock glitch. That is something that is tremendously disappointing. Are there any more snipers? Ooh, that's a sniper too. Nice. So there's plenty of ammo on the ground if we need it. Zero feels the same way as I do. A little bit greedy there, perhaps. I was really trying to get a critical hit. Oh well. Um, that one's dead. We'll bring this one down. It's slagged. Cool. Only one more to bring down now. And it's the red one. Go ahead and get some ammo from this shrine over here, I guess. And then we'll get ready to kill the red one. He's almost dead. There we go. Alright, we'll walk about here, see if we're able to find any cool things. I see a omen here. I still see that same seeker. We'll go ahead and walk over some more of this stuff. Hopefully it'll give us some grenade drops here eventually. Maybe not. It's a little bit of a shame. Any more cool citrine items? Don't really see any, but some other gemstones have definitely come down. I don't want to waste too much critical ascension here, so I'm gonna go ahead and fall off after grabbing a couple grenades. Hmm, not as many grenades as I thought I had, but whatever. And then falling off gives us plenty of ammo, so we should be okay there. Ooh, actually some of my critical ascension stacks are uh, starting to decay, so maybe this won't be so good. Who knows? It is pretty brutal, though, when you kill Heliant, then, you know, and he just dies immediately. That is pretty gnarly. All right. So we'll head back here, we'll put Iridium in the Reaper's hands again, and uh, in the meantime I'll pop that guy one just to kind of give me a follow through bonus perhaps, and also preserve my critical ascension just a little bit further. Okay, so 69 when we went back into the wing storm, and now it's at 68. We'll still have a little bit by the time we get there, that'll be good. Huh, I was really hoping that that would actually slice those open, but whatever. Wanted at least one grenade out of those, but it looks like I got two sniper ammo. Not a huge deal. Getting back to the wing storm or the uh, dragon platform as quickly as we can here because we are going to kill the dragons another time. The dragons need to be killed several times in order for them to give us more blockades, I would imagine, so that's why they're dying. Oh wow, there's still Seraph Crystals on the ground. Oops. I'm glad that those persist. Now we got plenty of grenades. Whoa! One of the dragons got a little bit, um... A little bit overzealous there, I would say. No worries. We punished Helianth appropriately for Incinerator's transgressions. 
Now, speaking of transgressions, this one in particular has many of them during this video. All right, let's bring this one down. Or not. Let's bring this one down eventually. Load it up with the kunai there. Oh, I think it did actually level up incinerator. We were close to preventing the level up there. Oh god, he's going to kill me. Huh. Well. Might as well reload, I guess. Throw some uh, preemptive slags here. Get him kunai'd. He's kind of glitched out on us. Maybe he wants to take a break, so I can understand that. I've wanted to take a break before. I might take a little bit of a break right here, right now, because I need to walk some dogs. But so far we've got quite a few dragon kills in. That's good stuff. What isn't good stuff is the fact that it cannot apparently drop the rogue comms, because that is something that I was kind of looking for and thinking that this would be a good place to farm. So, no big deal there. Alright. Not really seeing anything too good here as far as additional gemstone weapons. I see a couple rock items, a couple Hyperion diamond items, but not really seeing what I'm looking for here. Rock rifle, that might not actually be bad on Axton. But I don't need one here today. Hmm. That was, what was that quartz one? Quartz long range killer. So we got two different quartz shotguns, I guess. Interesting. Huh. All right. Grab a few more of the Seraph crystals here. It is good stuff. Bunch of snipers on the ground now. That's good stuff as well. All right. Rhythmic Seeker. Extra Large Omen. And, ooh, we did get another blockade, so I'll pick that up as well. That's good stuff. The game's starting to slow down a little bit because we have so much gear on the floor, but not a huge deal. I'm going to um, do one more kill here before taking a short break. And... We're going to do some pre-stacking for this kill, just because we haven't done any pre-stacking yet. We were doing some, uh, you know, sequential stacking, I guess you could call it, by uh, running through the dragons multiple times on the same critical ascension load and stuff. But, yeah, it's not quite, quite as effective as pre-stacking. Let's do a pre-stacking run here, just to kind of see how powerful pre-stacking can be. gonna need to run all the way out of here for this though and then come back in so that's what I'm doing I could have jumped off again but meh not trying to preserve critical ascension stacks this time so I won't kill myself needlessly it would only save us just a little bit of walking but the walking's almost done now anyway Overall, I am pretty stoked with how quickly we can kill the dragons with all the farmed gear here. Obviously, it's pretty close to perfect at this point. Um, it's been through quite a few <laughs> hours of Lyuta and bee farming to get here, to get, you know, to this point and stuff. But it does work out pretty well, you know. That's, that's pretty good kills here on the dragons so far. The skeletons weren't fast enough to hurt me that time. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to throw on a um, stockpile relic so that we can buy more ammo. And the stockpile relic that boosts sniper capacity the most, I believe, is this one here. And it kind of sucks because it also boosts max health. 
but it's not a huge deal. Alright. Go ahead and stock up on health too. Perfect. We're going to have plenty of ammo. We're going to stack critical ascension quickly. And then we're going to kill these guys very quickly. Would be my guess. Probably also want to have on a chaotic neutral instead of a chaotic evil here. So I'll throw that on. Like that. So that'll make my magazine even bigger. And we'll change the rest of the gear that we need to change. For example, the stacking rifle. And we'll drop a Bone of the Ancients once we get up here. Or I guess once we have the... Um, what are they called? Mimics? In, in place. That'll be good. Alright, so I can go ahead and drop some gear here. I'm going to drop the Firebone of the Ancients. Make sure we put back on the Blood of the Ancients here. I'm going to drop probably the... Well, I don't need that at all. Probably the Chaotic Evil Rogue Com. So I will go ahead and drop that. We'll put back on the Chaotic Neutral for the time being. I don't want those to fly too far away. So we'll leave them right there. And then I'm also going to drop this rifle so that I can put on my stacking rifle, which should be the purple droog somewhere in here. Perfect. All right. So there we go. We've got three different items that we need to pick up here in just a minute. Actually, it's about to be four because I'm going to do it with a B shield. And in the meantime, I will throw on a, I guess, a blockade. Which blockade is best? I still kind of like the blockade I already had best. Yeah, we'll throw on that blockade. Cool. So those are the four items that we're going to need to pick up. In the meantime, though, we're going to go wake up some mimics and get them gathered around and then stack critical ascension off of them rather rudely. Then we'll have enough critical ascension to kill the dragons at least once. Alright, so all of the Mimics are almost opened up here, which is pretty good. We'll go ahead and loop around, have them follow us up these stairs, and they can only come up so far. They cannot follow us all the way up here. So it looks like some of them didn't follow at all. So I'll throw my Deception down there so that hopefully some of them all start congregating. And getting stuck on one another. I don't know why some of them are still stuck back there, but they are. So we'll need to get closer to them. See if they'll start coming out a little bit further here for me. Nice. Now that they're more grouped up, they're more likely to get stuck, I would imagine. And here's one that's stuck. And he seems to be stuck pretty solidly. So we'll begin stacking Critical Ascension on him. I would eventually like to get a uh, perfect Garnet uh, crit machine, probably at level 30. That might be a little bit too high of a level for the crit machine, but that's one, especially if we get it with a magazine prefix, that would have the craziest magazine possible, which would be really nice. Alright, so just a couple more magazines to pump into this guy and we'll be good to go. You can see here that we're going to end up starting the dragon fight with well over 100 stacks of critical ascension, which is going to be rather brutal for them. Wow, that didn't kill him. Interesting. There we go. Pick up these rifles here. Or it wasn't really rifles, a single rifle, a, um, a class mod, a relic, and oh, what else did we pick up? A shield. So that's good stuff. All right. We're running to the dragons now. Obviously, there is the ammo shrine when we get there, so we don't have to worry about only being at 13 ammunition. That's not really a big deal. 
Now, this is going to be pretty brutal for the dragons, um, assuming they don't have just the world's worst behavior. They should die relatively quickly here because the DPS boost you're going to have from over 180 stacks of critical ascension, it should be enough to one mag every dragon. Should be. I went ahead and picked up one of those snipers there, that way I could get all of my snipers to max ammo before we even have the enemies spawn, which is good stuff. Throw that there so that hopefully they come land at a normal spot for me here. Well, that's unfortunate that uh, our B shield was down, but didn't really seem to matter that much. Let's go ahead and try to get some extra health here. Excellent. So I don't think this guy's going to be able to be slagged, but didn't really end up being a big deal for us. We are almost out of ammunition, so I'm going to pick up that ammo there. Alright, so just one more enemy to take out here, and then we'll be done. If he'll ever land, that is. Okay. Looks like there's a sniper there if I want it. So that's the end of him. I guess since we still have such a ridiculous amount of critical ascension, I am going to... Uh, give it one more go here pick up a grenade just so that we have a couple more grenades and then I'm gonna hit this ammo shrine before I jump off just so that I'll definitely have maximum ammo perfect I'm glad that the ammo shrine persists throughout the new U station there that'll definitely get me to maximum ammo and we'll run it one more time. This time we'll have like a hundred and something stacks of critical ascension when we get down and kill the dragons. And <laughs> that'll be quite a few dragon kills at that point, to be honest with you. I need to check the loot from that last kill because I didn't spend too much time looking at it. But that is quite a few dragon kills. We did get a very, very excellent um, citrine muckamuck there. And that's good stuff. For those of you wondering or worrying, I haven't forgotten about the doggos. They're definitely going to get their walk here in just a second. And maybe they're appreciating this slight delay because it allows the sun to set just a little bit further and it won't be quite as hot outside. So really, I'm doing the dogs a favor by making them wait just a little bit longer. <laughs> All right. We're going to get to the uh, dragon platform here and kill the dragons very, very quickly. We're going to have over 160 uh, stacks of critical ascension by the time that they spawn, which should pretty much obliterate them. Let's go see if we got another cool seraph item over here, huh? I see another omen. That one's a Swiss omen. We'll actually have the B-Shield for this one, which should make it just as gnarly, if not gnarlier. Why in the world did he not... Oh my gosh, come down here, thing. Just get our second win there. Perfect. Excellent. Where is this other one? Go ahead and get a, a health back with the... Dear friend there. Okay. I was like, what is going on right there? Because I saw Incinerator's health bar and not Brood's, but Brood was obviously taking damage, so it all worked out for us. I know that there is another sniper right over here, like a blue doll or something. I want to pick it up if I can. There we go. Now we should have plenty of ammo.
Looks like a bunch of our critical ascension is rolled off at this point, which uh, kind of makes sense. And it's super scary because I'm out of ammo. He came over like a good boy, though. That's good stuff. All right. So that's enough kills of the dragons for now. <laughs> um, that's, I mean, I don't know exactly how long this video is, but quite a few dragon kills. If we need to do more dragon kills, just let me know. I can definitely farm the dragons some more in a future video. Right now, though, I am pretty happy that we farmed for a cool citrine muckamuck. This is a citrine rifle here. I'll pick it up as well. I'm going to look at all of these uh, gemstone weapons uh, another time here in just a moment so that we can make sure that we're not leaving anything behind. Those are obviously exclusive to this DLC, meaning we cannot farm them elsewhere. You can only really get them from here and Butt Stallion. And so because of that, they are, you know, significantly rarer. This is a Vladoff Grip Stinger, I believe. Um, I could be wrong about that, but I think it is. And then Purging is going to be the base damage accessory. So I'll pick that up as well, just because it's kind of a high tier Vladoff pistol and it's got good parts on it. Go ahead, pick up some more Iridium here as well. Plenty of money. Good stuff. All right. Purple item, not really what I'm looking for though. I am disappointed that we apparently can't get rogue comms from the dragons. That seems like a weird deal. I don't understand why those would not be included in the items that the dragons can drop. It definitely seems like they should drop them to me. Also kind of puzzling is that the only legendary item we were able to find in this video, ooh, that's a sticky lobbed shock transfusion. The only legendary item we were able to farm in this video came from the dice chest, which is rather weird. I guess we could do a, another run through the dice chest here in just a minute, but so another transmurderer here. This is going to be a diamond leverage. It looks badass at least, but it's not really. Convergence. Hmm. This is a Aquamarine SMG. That's a Malawan, I guess. What do we got here? Citrine Revolver. I looked at that Citrine Revolver and decided it didn't have optimal parts, so I was going to leave it alone. Rock Rod. So, two Rock Torque shotguns here, but not really one that we were looking for. Ooh, a Citrine Calipine. Looks like it has a flat off grip. I'll pick it up just to look at it. Range killer there. A Chinook. Why are we getting so many Jacob snipers? That's ridiculous. I did not realize I had that many Citrine Jacob snipers on the ground. That's kind of cool. What's really cool, too, is I found a really good one. Um, the Citrine Muckamuck with the Jacob's grip. I don't know what accessory it has. I'll have to figure that out in a minute, but that's really cool. Let's run through one more time the um well i guess we're gonna have to kill these mimics here one more time the dice chest just to see if we find anything else cool and then i'll go to the vending machine and get rid of a lot of this crap that we don't need because my inventory is getting kind of full oh they're all level one awesome i guess i knew they would be <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. All right. So do they drop level one gear? Uh, at least not with the patches I have applied. That's interesting. All right. So I'm going to run these chests one more time, even though they weren't super generous the first time. All right. So actually, I changed my mind on those dice chests because I ran all the way through them. And the only thing that we got that was of note at all was going to be a few E-Tech pistols, which I didn't pick up, and this monstrous railer here, which is going to be a Malawan E-Tech sniper, and it's just not a very good one at that. You know, it's shock element, which is not the best element, and we're going to have a Hyperion grip and a monstrous accessory, which I think is the magazine size accessory. So I'm just not going to keep that rifle. Even though I don't have too many E-Tech rifles right now, this one's just not one that interests me. So I went through and put an X on everything that I didn't need. This is indeed a Jacob's Grip on this particular Muckamuck, which is awesome. And it's going to be a pretty solid weapon for us. 
So I'm happy about that. These other citrine items weren't that good. This one here is going to be a doll grip with a bladed accessory and a Hyperion barrel, so that one kind of sucks. This one's going to be a pretty decent accessory as critical hit damage, but it's got the Vlad off grip, which isn't that great because the fire rate's already going to be pretty high with it being a, you know, purple rarity or higher Jacob sniper. So not really a good one there. And then the Vlad off grip's even less useful on this rifle because it already has a massive fire rate. In addition, um, I don't think the bandit stock is very good, so I'm not going to keep that one either. I am going to keep the stinger for now. We're going to get rid of all these items with X's on it though, including this pitchfork, which is just straight up outclassed by the other non-elemental pitchfork that I have. So with that in mind, um, we can definitely get rid of one of those pitchforks. I am also going to get rid of the Hyperion Legendary Bitch, just because it's not a very good version of it with the bandit grip there. So we'll go ahead and sell all of this garbage, that way we have a lot more room in our inventory so it looks like um, the delete button is the sell trash we'll look through here and just make sure there's nothing that we wanted to keep got rid of a couple class mods as well a bunch of the grenades that we farmed yesterday from pyro pete since we don't really need them and that's good stuff cool so now it seems like i still have Quite a bit of space in my inventory we have still too many items we'll have to go back and bank some of the stuff that i don't truly need but overall pretty happy with my gear setup right now and oh god i didn't take the time to get rid of any of these shields that's why we have so much stuff oh well <laughs> we'll look at getting rid of the shields in a future video right now i don't really have time i mean, i'm gonna drop that green one though so as always guys i thank you very much for watching i do appreciate it if you haven't yet taken the time to subscribe please do so i'd appreciate that as well otherwise i hope to catch you next time bye guys